All right, we're here. We're here with a quick episode. All these standards got to go to prom. We see him dressed like a fucking, um, I don't know. That's a, that sounds racist. All right. All right, here we are. So what are we going to do is we're going to um, give it a little post-fight thoughts after Bohovic and Rakic and uh, give our predictions for our next fight card. The fight card, which I will not be watching because I've got finals. God, I fucking hate school. Fucking hate school. Listen, if you hate school, just... I don't know. Listen, if you got liberal parents, I don't know. They don't give a shit about you fucking up in school. You are a fucking. Uh, you live in a fucking heaven. Yeah. All right, um, Mr. Sandy, can we continue now? Yep. 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 All right. So, um, all right. Did, do you remember what, what we? Gave our predictions for uh, well, what was our predictions for uh, Bohovic and Rockich? Was it do you remember yeah. it was a third round finish? Remember that? Yeah, I said that. We both said that, and it's a third round, and was a third round finish. I mean, it was a TKO leg injury, I don't care, but yeah, it was a finish third round, just we just like we said it now. Bohovic is in line for a title shot, isn't he? Is he next in line? Yeah. I fucking hope so because no one else is ready. I mean, the heavyweight division is so so dead. It needs 20 years to fucking recover from what John Jones and DC did to that fucking division. I mean, they ruled over that division for so fucking long that that division is fucking dead. I mean, Dominic Reyes, the guy was supposed to be the next big, the next big thing. And look at him. He's on a three-fight losing streak. A 42-year-old guy just beat, beat Bohovich last year. I mean, the whole fucking division is dead. No disrespect to the guys, but it's dead. A little bit dead. Bunch of, I mean, the top fighters are either old or or oh, are a losing streak. Most of them. Yeah. <laughs> Clever more would lose the belt. Um, I I think here I think I don't know. It's like, it's gonna be a close fight, but I think Year Pro House might get it done. Year is gonna smack him. He's gonna smack him around, but. Wait until the fight gets to the ground. Then we'll see how good fucking uh, year he is. Yeah, we have to it's wait trash. for that. And listen, I might not be, I might not be alive for that one because listen, <laughs> next week's finals, final exams, you know, finals they start, and I have no idea what the fuck I'm gonna do. I haven't even opened my books like even one time this year. The only time I opened my books were at the school. And oh, I was... I've never told me. I don't think I've ever said a personal story on this show. You, you're just a cold motherfucker. You, that's, that's, you, you're cold. You don't give a yeah, shit. I'll, I'll, I'll you're, too shy. you're too shy. You're too shy. You're too shy to share personal Lost. stories. All right, I had a mock exam today. Well, PE, and it's done my head in. Well, what's that? What's that? What was that? It's just it's like an exam before leaving exams. It's like you're pro- what it's like what you're predicted. If you don't do them, that will. So, I promise. All it was was like, what's EPO? Who who famous is using EPO? I put TJ Dillashaw. Seriously, like what? EPO, like yeah, school? Pets, it's, it's sports. It's sports. I know, I know. What was it about sports and shit? Yeah, like um, performance enhancing and all that. Jesus. And you put TJ Dillashaw in. Yeah. yeah if, you te- if your teacher knows MMA, he's going to give you a straight A. If not, then he might have to search some shit till he finds out who's TJ Dillashaw. I mean, on the PowerPoint, when she was teaching the set, she did that Chris Cyborg, so I think. She did, she did it about Chris Cyborg? Yeah. No way. I mean, she okay. kind of looks like Vandalay Silva and Justin Hills, but, you know, no pun intended, maybe a little bit. But listen, you remember when Joe Rogan said uh, Chris Cyborg might have a penis? You remember that? Yep. I mean, she kind of looks like it. I've, I've, I've seen a chick with chicks. I've seen chicks with dicks. They kind of look like her. No disrespect to Chris. She's a great, she's a mm-hmm. great athlete. No disrespect. All right. All right, let's just get into the let's just get into the MMA shit. 
Uh, it was a bit, it was an MMA shit, but it was cool. I fucking hate school. This, this, this couple months is gonna be the end of fucking high school. I hope I pass and get my fucking diploma because if I don't, I'm gonna be six feet under. And you might have to find someone else for the fucking show. Who knows? Yeah, I'm fucking, I'm fucking terrible. Except English, I am fucking terrible at everything. Except English and sports. Other than that, I'm fucking terrible. Like, we got fucking math, fucking uh, geographic, history. I'm fucking shit. Like, there's no difference between a paper that I wrote some shit in and a paper that you took on took some shit on it. There's no difference. No fucking difference. I used to be a straight A student. Now I'm a straight F student. I'm fucked up. <laughs> that that straight F line reminded me of a shame of a scene in Shameless. I you've never watched the TV show. You gotta watch it. It's so cool. Mm. Yeah, let's just get into the MMA show because all is going to prom tonight. No, for sure. Who's your date? Who's your date? I don't. I'm not going for all. I just came back from school. Came back from school now? What is it over there? Like eight, nine? No, no I didn't get changed. You got in trouble. You got detention. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Knowing you, you got fucking detention. <laughs> yeah, knowing you, yeah, yeah. You might get an overnight detention, buddy. Knowing you, yeah, detention. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Yeah, right. Just get into MMA stuff before <laughs> I rip my throat out. Yeah, yeah, all right. So we had John Lakovic versus what's his face? Rockic. Uh, Rockic. It's easy. Rockic. No, you said it rock Alexander No Knee. That's what I call him. Alexander No Knee. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, he had the same injury like a couple of weeks ago, like three months ago. To be I fair, I probably I got a knee injury, so I can't talk. Listen, I dealt with a knee injury for six months. It's fucking horrible. For the for the for the first four months, I didn't even know that was an injury. I thought that was how my knees was supposed to work. Shit, I just punched it. I just elbowed the fucking wall. <laughs> Yeah, and for the next two months, I I start I was doing the recovery. Then I had the fucking uh, hair cracks in my leg, in my shin. The same thing with Connor after uh, before he broke his leg, and uh, that was fucking bad. And then after I was healed, I tore my ACL, and then I broke my toe. Listen, injuries, man. I fucking hate injuries. Things I hate: injuries and school, and um, homophobic people, and Donald Trump. I just elbowed the wall again. All right. So, so we had that. It was close by until he his knee. It was popped. one one. I had a one one. Yeah. So, and then co-main event. Wild. Yeah, it was wild. Who was the co-main event? By the way, I forgot. Ian Kuda <laughs> Lava versus Ryan Spam. Oh yeah. yeah. Ryan Span choked him out. Oh man, I thought I thought I thought Eon was Eon was gonna win. What the fuck, Eon? Yeah, I was expecting them to knock him out. Yeah, I mean, who just texted me? Who texted me? It was Samir Samiris. Yeah, Samiris, a good friend. I must. Yeah, we were talking about doing some shit before you jumped on. Yeah, we're not gonna get into the fucking story. We don't get into that, that those kind of stories, yeah. But yeah, she just I'm liked one of my messages on Instagram. All right, uh, we really don't have time. Yeah, for five right. minutes max. Listen, listen. Uh, um, who? What? What are we gonna do with the light heavyweight division now? I mean, light heavyweight division is such a mess. I, mean, I got, reckon. I right, go on, go. On. Let me get the running stuff. I mean, we got Bohovic, who's arguably the next in line. And we got Dominic Reyes, who's, who hasn't fought since the Prohaska fight. And that was last year, maybe two years ago. I don't remember. I got the new rankings. Jesus. All right, so what's changing? 
Nothing, you? just... Uh, Colin moves up to eight. At what? Lightweight. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ryan Spam moves up to 12. Uh, anything else? It's not really much. Jack Shaw's 14. John Jones is 10 on the pound for pound. Why is he still on the pound for pound rank, rankings? Why is he still I don't on know. Uh, that, yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, let me get the next card up. Let's just do a quick fire of predictions. All right. Let's do predictions and uh, I don't know, man. The, right. Like heavyweight division is missing with my head right now. It's messing with my head. Um, Eric Anders versus Park Jung Young. Yeah, Park. That's a fun park. one. Park. You got to park your ca- park car against, over there. Uh, park prediction quick. Um, Eric Anders. Did you know that Eric, Eric Anders was in a TV show, Cobra Kai? He's going to be on yeah. season five. Yeah, I saw, I saw it. He got kicked in the head. Have you watched Cobra Kai? Yeah. I need to. Dude, it's fucking awesome. Have you watched the All old right, the old t- movie Karate Kid? Yeah, I might uh, in Ireland back in my day. Oh, All right, yeah. co-main offense, uh Santiago Ponce Nibble. All right. All right. Nibia, yeah, I yeah. thought you spoke Spanish. You should be good with the names. <laughs> against Puta Madre. Pereira. Pereira. Michelle Pereira. All right. I know how to swear uh, in Spanish. All right. Is that the co-main? Michelle, the... Yeah. Michelle Pereira by decision. Gosh. I don't know. I don't have a prediction for that one. Holly I'm not going to watch the fight card, to be honest. Holly Holm versus Caitlin Vieira. Uh, um, Caitlin Vieira. No, no. Holly no, no. Holm sorry. Um, Holly Holm. Holly Holm. Sorry. All right. I've, I've got a shoot. What? I've got to go. All right, he's got to go. So, um, who's next in line for heavy like heavy title shot? He is um, Bohovic, and um, I guess so. I think Jan Bohovic is next in line for the winner of uh, UFC two seventy six or two seventy five co- uh, main event. And yeah, let's see what happens. I'm not gonna watch the next fight card because finals, and they're taking a fucking week off after that one. So it's gonna be a week. Of, it's gonna be fucking month of hell for me. I hope that I just fucking survive it, and I don't get buried six feet under. Thank you guys for watching. It was a short episode. Uh, you can go beat up Ali for that one. Where do you go to school so I can send people to beat you up? <laughs> All right, bye. Let's go and study and look for him. See you guys later. Piss off.